The Russian war against Ukraine has no end in sight, and hundreds of refugees continue to pour into the U.S. each month. Mills Hayes is in Minneapolis, where dozens of Ukrainians have resettled nearly 6,000 miles away from their homeland. And Mills, how many refugees have come since the war actually started? Tia and Natalie, the Department of Homeland Security tells me that more than 300,000 Ukrainian refugees have come to the U.S. since the war began. Now, this means that, that these refugees are sending their kids to local public schools. They are renting apartments in the cities, and they are also working 12-hour shifts here in the communities. Ukrainians Oleg Minaev and Alina Zinnik just flew into America and are meeting their new roommates. They'll be sharing this home with a dozen other people they've never met. He is the kitchen for the first floor. 51-year-old Irina Hebronok never believed she'd be here in Minneapolis without her children a year after Russia invaded her home country of Ukraine. My daughter, she's in Poland right now with her husband and baby, but my son and my mother still in Ukraine. I have such an amazing Mm. experience in my life <laughs> with these people that I came to this country oh my god <laughs> Natalia and Sofia other Ukrainian refugees who live in this house with her have become family American evening is the most loneliest time because it's night in Ukraine the Department of Homeland Security tells me more than 128,000 have been admitted through the Biden administration's Uniting for Ukraine program, which allows Americans to sponsor Ukrainians to prove they will be financially supported in the U.S. Another 167,000 refugees have come in through traditional refugee programs or by crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. The money they're making for themselves, the majority of it, they're going to send back to their families back in Ukraine or they're going to invest right back into our communities. This group of Ukrainians wake up before the sun rises, pile into these vans and work 12-hour shifts at Home Depot, saving money to send to their family. Aswar Rahman formed American service in Ukraine right after Russia invaded. He and his team of Ukrainian refugees are working to get American employers to help fund their mission for those who escaped the war. It's a win-win for everyone. Our people come here and they add, every one of them will add millions into our economy over their lifetime here. And a group from uh, the American service in Ukraine actually left today from Minneapolis to Mississippi to go help with relief efforts there after 26 people were killed in a tornado over the weekend. So they say that they want to go down and help uh, the country that's given them so much because they know what it's like to be displaced from their homes. In Minneapolis, Mills Hayes, Fox 32 Chicago.